All right. According to YouTube, I believe I am live. So, welcome to this solo playthrough of Wingspan. Uh, as you can see, I have it set up here. And we'll quickly go over what I'm doing. Quick, uh, I already did my own little setup for everyone. Uh, I'm going against the evil Automata. Or I can never pronounce it. I'm giving it the European expansion. It comes with some special goals for them. Uh, it's going to try to score birds of 5, 6, or 7. And I, or at least my very first goal, is trying to get birds that live in multiple habitats. Uh, I've got my cards here. We've also got the goal set up randomly, which probably not my favorite for round two. But uh, we got birds in the forests, birds worth more than four, birds with eggs with that nest symbol, I guess, in trees, and birds in the plains. You have plains? Uh, we'll go with plains for now. All right. So other than that, I believe everything I need to explain is set up. Like I said, this is using the European expansion too. I have not have a lot of experience with that. In fact. I probably don't have enough experience for any of those masterful Wingspan players, so please forgive me if I make some uh, mistakes in terms of uh, smart plays. I should get all the rules right, fingers crossed. All right, well, let's begin. Uh, this is my hand, by the way, of birds. I got a, a grackle, a canvas back, and a Eurasian magpie. Well, uh, this is my food, so I can play one of them. Uh, and that sounds like a pretty good idea right off the bat. But I do want some of those birds. Let's see what we got. We, there's a European one. Oh, all of them are European. Uh, draw a new bonus card, then gain one or lay an egg on a bird. Might be pretty good now. Uh, that's not what I want. But the multiple habitats, yes. So both of those with multiple habitats are pretty nice for me. I also do love buzzards in general. Definitely a weird one. Instead of paying the cost, you may play this bird on top of another bird onto your play mat. Discard any eggs and food from that bird. It becomes a tuck card. Oh, so it eats the card that I will play. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, but drawing would take an action. So I'm going to start by a grain. Oh, I'm putting a cube, playing a bird. A uh, grain and... Of course, those are rats, and I don't have rats. Uh, and the fish. So, boop, boop. You've got the common grackle, and we will put it in the forest area since that's the first scoring point. And now our automata is going to... I believe that is... get. Uh, where is the... That's not what I want. Where is the symbol for this? Do it. There it is. All right. If all dice show the same face, re-roll. They do not. Following the key, left to right. Match the first. You tip in the ball feed. Remove all those dice. It has removed all the rat dice. Uh, I guess I'll put it down there near my cubes. Uh, activate all pink powers. There are no pink powers, which is a little disappointing. All right. Then... I will, so that should be a double check on that time. I'm always, forget, make sure the town turn draws a card. Yeah, yeah, I'm not crazy. Good, I'm not crazy. All right, so that should be all of it that it does this round. I will want to probably get some food now, or I could draw a card. I can't play, yeah, I obviously cannot, I can't even choose to play either of those. So we'll start with getting food. I will not discard a card to get another die. And I, oh, I do choose the food first. Um, I really do want a grain, even though the, f yeah. So boom. And then I may tuck a card from my hand besides this bird. If I do lay an egg on it. Hmm. Uh, I probably should. Yeah, we'll tuck this card underneath. Why not? That will give us an egg. How nice. And that should be that. All right, so we will go back over here. 
guess discard. And we, that is, I believe, this one. Give it an egg for each egg icon. So it has scored an egg. Uh, there is nothing for it to remove right now. Um, I did get food, so I guess I'll play my bird. <laughs> Yeah, that is the canvas back. Lovely little bird there. And it should also, since it has a wild nest, it should help when I get there. But we're not there right now. So that is that. Wait, that is that. Yes, got to mark it. And we returned another egg. S slowly but surely, it will get those eggs. All right. I uh, pretty much am empty of anything. So let's draw a card. So I definitely want to take... One of these two, because they uh, both are helpful for me. I'll go with the buzzard. Yeah, the buzzard, why not? And then this moves over, and everyone draws a card. They don't, Brown powers don't affect the, uh, the automata, so I'll draw again. Um, I'll draw that. So that's that. Refills. And what are you doing? You are drawing a card, I believe, face, put in your face down pile. Oh, and then discard all three. Discard three, the automaton draws one and keeps it face down. Yeah. So put that in the discard. So it's a good thing I got those birds. Yeah. It keeps that. And then we'll... One bird. Two bird. Three bird. All right, so we got a white-breasted nuthatch, a whooping crane, and an American red start. So, back to me. I have no food, so it's probably best for me to get food. Yes. So, I get a die. Oh, actually, none of those are very helpful for me. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe, because I can use the tuck. I can use that to tuck behind to lay an egg, or... Uh, and I don't want to tuck that. And it, that discards any eggs or tuck food, so I really don't want to use that. Oh, you had to get rid of the mouse. Uh, sure. You know, we're going to draw again. So I don't think I want any of these in particular. Uh, oh, that gains a food. Game from supply and cash it and draw two. Um. We'll game one from the top first. See what it gives us. Uh, I got a black-throated diver. Discard all remaining face-up cards and then refill the tray. If you do, draw one of the new face-up ones. Okay, so it's a bit of a refresh. And I'll, everyone draws. And we'll just go from the top again. See what we get. The common cuckoo. When another player takes the lay egg action, so this is not very useful. All right, so what are you doing, bot? You, uh, that's the, if any, is it if all of them match or any of them match? I think it's if only if they all match. Oh, that's the discard pile. If all, the, yes, they don't all match. So now it takes a fish. Oh, all those faces. All right. So that might actually be helpful for me now because now I will get food. I will discard the common cuckoo to be able to take two dice. Now there is only one symbol showing in the feeder. And, of course, always want to double check now. But that should mean I get to reroll them all as long as everything in the feeder matches a symbol. Uh, play, nope. Great, I can. I'm not. So, I'll give that a roll. And let's see, we got a fish. Uh, oh, well, some berries, a grain, and a rat. Well, that rat is looking pretty tasty. So, I'm going to take that rat for my first one. All right, I get two. 
And uh, I'm going to take that fish. So rat and fish. That was pretty good. All right, uh, I may tug a card from it to lay an egg there. Uh, that's probably... Yeah, I, I will tuck this diver right behind it. Oh, no! To lay an egg. Oh, those grackles. And now... All right, that is just the discard everything. Yep. So one, two, three. It draws a card. No idea what it has, what it's sneaking with. Better not have my California condor. Uh, I got a house sparrow, a black skimmer, and it hooded merganser. Why am I saying all these when I'm going to just mispronounce them horribly? Ah, and it is adding a cube to the goal tile. It is now rivaling me for that spot, which is not the greatest. But now that I have food, let's spend that mouse. Yeah, I mean, I could use this to try to capture something, but I think it's worth it just to get that into play. So it's there, which does help with the food. Oh, playing a bird. And then... So that was a simple turn. And we're going back to here. Oh, of course. It is getting an egg. And adding another point. Just when I thought I could get ahead. Um, I unfortunately cannot play this card. I don't think I want any of those. Mm, I could go maybe for those resources. Nah, we're going to go for the drawing a card. So do I like anything there? Let's see, the House Sparrow makes it so I can discard five wheat from the supply. Uh, let me see if I can line that up at the end of a round. Uh, that's one of the new things from the European set. The Black Skimmer uh, lets me roll all the dice not in the bird feeder and possibly get some fish from it. With the, the Hooded Bird lets me repeat uh, Predator. I'm not crazy about any of those. I mean, yeah. No, I don't really have any good predators yet. Oh, but the fives and sixes, and that's what you want. It is worth a lot. They are worth a lot of points. I forgot about that. Um, I do have one fish. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll take the skimmer. And everyone draw a card. I will go blind for this one. And a yellow-bellied cuckoo with a fun of pink ability. Uh, when another player takes the lay egg action, this bird lays an egg on another bird. Okay, because the cuckoos, that's what they do. All right, so we'll replace from the middle. Ah, the vulture. It's only worth two points, so. And... All right, so starting with... They're all the same. N nope. Nope. Yes. So we take that out. And that's... Oh, wait. Did I... Am I supposed to do it for him when I run out? Let me make sure about that. Intersection... I swear I've played this before. I just, just always forgetting about these little things. Oh, we're play, we're gonna play on normal difficulty, by the way, which means uh, or eagle. So these are worth four points. Gold tie. All right, so 
as far as I can tell, I think it is. I'm playing this right. So I should use the current round. I guess you follow the rules of multiplayer. So actually, I think it doesn't do that because it doesn't have its own paying for anything. Right? Designer's note. How could I forget something so annoying? Given these cubes. Sorry for all the silence. I'm terrible at this. I always forget about one thing. We're going to say he does it. Equal bound turns. All right. So with this goal, we now compare. I think it's going to slaughter me here. Birds in grass. There we go. In the forest. Oh, with. Is there just a regular one? They're all the same. Uh, birds in that should be zero. So tie. Because um, I have two in there. They have two. Don't remember. Uh, round structure and game scoring. No, I want to end a round. Players tie both cubes in the tied spot. All right, so pretty much it's it's a wash. How great. All right. But my birds are doing pretty well. Uh, um, I got some for my personal score, but it's got some eggs. So we'll see how this goes. All right. Um... Oh, that doesn't refresh, right? Oh, God, I should have reread everything, and I don't, because I think I remember it, because I did it before, and then I don't. Yeah. Use a new board. Yes, I do discard that. I am remembering things right. So I missed the buzzard. So we now have a Baltimore Oriole, the actual bird, a blue Gros Grosbeck. And a red-headed woodpecker. Uh, if only had a color bonus, if that's actually one of them. So, on our turn, we have all our lovely cues back. We do have a fish. And if I start with the food action, I get to take all the rerolls because they were both berries. And I don't care for berries, so... I bet I will as soon as I do this. So definitely want that fish. So I can play that bird. Um, and we'll, we'll take the mouse. So we're in round two. Let's see. Oh, I should probably be looking at that. Yep, yes, ASMR. I totally forgot there's a chat. Uh, yeah, it's getting two eggs. Nothing for it to remove, so lots of points for the, for the uh, bot there. And now that we have two fish, let's play that skimmer from before. Ooh, ooh there we go. Put them right there. So when activated, I get to roll all dice not in the bird feeder. And possibly get some fish to cash on that card. And now that we have that done, we're back to the last card of the bot. And it's taking a face. It's getting rid of all these birds. So uh, they were fun while they lasted. It's going to take this card. And we're now adding three new cards. We've got a heron, a gray heron, a western tanger. And a European goldfinch. Not just your regular goldfinch. So do I want any of those? Um, probably if I want that point goal one. Um, so probably want to uh, do some drawing so I get to draw two cards. We'll take that finch. And it wants grain and berry. What did I say? I was going to need it. And then... Let's let's uh, 
that's not neither of those nest types. I forgot to be looking at nest types, which might be a problem. Uh, let's go. Yeah, this top card. Ooh, that's cool. All right, and your deck is done. So we remove after round one. Uh, shuffling this lovely deck of for our little bot, and I gotta try to remember not to stay silent. I can't help it. Uh, all right, so it's getting two more eggs. It's currently up. I don't know if you can tell to seven, and it's starting with a cube there. All right, so oh, oh, I didn't do the rest of my turn with the bird. Uh, I I could still do it. It shouldn't be too bad. I don't think it affected what it did. Yeah, so roll the dice not in the bird feeder. None of them were fish. Everyone draws a card. And I didn't even fill the thing. I am doing terrible. Well, uh, there is the newest bird, the red the red breasted Mer merganser. I don't know. You someone who's a better bird scientist can read that out. I should know how to say that after our stream. Uh, playing Tales from the Loop. We had to find one to find out why all those birds were going crazy. Food? Food? Crazy pigeons. All right, I got a painted white star. Oh, I think this is from the basic startup thing. I think that's what those color corners are for. Um, so, oh my God. I'm going to need to do things now. I will want to lay eggs there later, but first I'm going to want to probably, you know, I still want to get more food. Because I could really, between turn, tuck a card. If a player turns a card. What's between turns? Between turns. Oof. Yeah, I think I want to get more food. So, two food. Um, oh, I'll take the grain. Since they're all the same. Come on. Nope. One of them ran away. Ignore that. That's tilted. There we go. And not much different. Um, now, if this was not against a... Uh, uh, a, P a player, I'd probably take uh, one of these split, but I'll, I'll take the worm. That's a little sad. I was really hoping for another mouse, to be honest. Um, sure, I'll tuck a card behind you since that will fill up your nest. Uh, this one. Oh, no, not this one. We'll do the yellow build, Kuko. Mostly because it's not as much between turns and I don't really need it anymore. So, three eggs on there. Hopefully that will help at the end scoring. And what are you doing, Mr. Bot? You're getting more eggs because that's what you want. But... You are removing a cube. So, yay. All right. Um, back to me. I almost don't like it being back to me. Uh, when activated, is there anything that I... Eh, that actually might be pretty early play, but we want birds worth more than four. I, ha I have one. So, I probably want to play one of these two ones worth two. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to play a bird. I'm going to spend... A grain and a worm for another mouse. Because I need two mice for this lovely barn owl. Now, it can go anywhere. Um, I could get more food. I haven't put anything into eggs yet. Eggs in the plains. I'm going to need to, you know, we're going to put it in the plains. Uh, when it activates, it's similar to uh, my black skimmer. When it activates, it's looking for mice instead of uh, fish. So, we'll see how that goes. All right, Magic Bot. Once again, another card. Adding there. Well, technically, you're supposed to discard these first, but shouldn't matter. So, goodbye. You are all sorely missed. So, now we have a Red Knot. The Broad-Winged Hawk. And 
Clark's Grebe. Now, uh, let me look at this and probably respond that, yeah, uh, those are probably pretty good solo, but Jonathan has both of those, so that's fun. Uh, we'll see if he can bug them to play those solo next time he goes on. All right, so that takes care of that. Now I'm looking at my birds. Oh, so many cute birds. There are actually uh, some vultures on top of the house earlier when I saw walking the dog. I like them. They're cute. Too bad we got rid of that one. Um, painted white start, snowy owl, and a European goldfinch. This is what I have to work with. Uh, we could lay some more. What do we need? We want birds worth. It's just playing the bird. So we need two grain and a fruit for this goldfinch if we want to play it. Now the red knot and Clark's grebe both. Ooh. The Clark's grebe does this current thing, and has a wild nest symbol, which we could use the next one. Problem is, there are no fish out right now, and I've used up all the food. Uh, can I get enough to... Yeah, you know what? I might have it. So, no, I want to do food first. So, that's two dice. Um, does it make a difference which ones I take? I guess I'll... I'll I, yes, it does. So, I'll take those two. And I'll take two. I'll take a grain and a worm. Or, no, I'll take two grain. Just in case. Uh, move this here. Doesn't do anything. Move it here. Uh, I could tuck a card behind it. Oh, I should be should have played that. Oh, well. I'm not going to tuck a card. All right. What do we got? Ooh, remove after the end of round two. We have, oh, it's adding a cute back, and didn't even get a chance to, oh, that's why I, uh, I want to draw the bird first. Well, oh, uh, this will be what it's playing, since I actually already saw it. That's what's hiding. So we got a black-chinned hummingbird. That's cute. We've got a common little bittern. Why is it so bitter? And finally, an American coot. Those crazy coots. All right. Um, not nearly as much as I want anymore to draw. I was, should have saw that coming. So I do have food. So and why not? Uh, I guess I could start doing that. But we'll, we'll go with the... Hmm, I can either get some decent cards... Or I can, let's see what we have here. All players gain, gain one face-up card in the, that lives in there. Or tuck a card behind this bird if you do draw a card. Oh, so it replaces. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, none of them match with future. Oh, but the hummingbird does. So yeah, you know what? We're going to go draw. First, I'll draw the hummingbird. I get to draw a second card. Um, I'll draw from here. What do we have? I got a common golden eye. You know, the classic N64 game. Uh, all right. Roll old dice. Not in the bird feeder. We'll just roll them here. Why not? We did get a fish symbol. It gains a fish to cash on the card. All right. All players draw a card. I'll draw from here. And then now we add to the lineup. Tree Swallow. And what do you do? Oh, okay. So it's actually gaining a bird now. So it takes all of these and does the best one that scores this. Unfortunately, none of them do. They're Because it's looking for birds costing five, six, or seven. Naturally, not just because the current goal. So if I remember correctly, it's just going to take a face down card. No, that's not the right one. That's the right one. If it does no birds meet the requirement, draw one face down card. Yep. And do I discard the rest? Yes, I do discard the rest. So I assume in this case that's still discarded. So unfortunately, nothing at it saw. But now we have Northern Harrier. Still wouldn't have wanted that. European Roller. It's rolling. Just like us. And a common Kingfisher. All right. 
That's pretty good. In fact, I probably would have wanted one of those. But I have enough cards right now. Can I play any of my cards? I can. So I'm going to spend my last one to play a bird. We're going to play that black-chinned hummingbird. And you know what? We're going to put it in the egg section because it can go anywhere. And that is my last that is my last cube, so let's give him one last turn. Send it flying. I don't have any pink powers to activate, and it's none of them matching. It takes that out. All right, I know there's a remove after round two card there. And bonus time, it adds... We're in round two. Five. It beats me there by quite a bit. I had two. So there we go. And there we go. Ooh, not looking as good anymore. Hmm. No, no. That was a bad one to lose. That was. But I'll make it up in the next ones. All right. So we're on round three. There we go. I got to get some eggs on the, the tree nest. And I have two birds that will follow those rules, which is good. And they both can hold quite a bit of eggs. Uh, for each bird. Ooh. I have green. We're going to start, though. Oh, right. Sorry. Hold on. Before between rounds, you discard that. Almost forgot. We now have a red-breasted Grosbeak. I will never get that lineup correct. Next, we have the Condor, the California Condor. I, I, I'm going to have to change my plan. I don't care what's optimal. I'm getting that. And then the Black-Headed Goat. Oh, I forgot. I need to remove eggs to play those. There was a good thing I was putting eggs on that guy. Those all needed to be removed. Uh... So that's the last one. Almost cheated there, but I've been putting eggs on this, so I'm almost certain I had eggs on there whenever I played these three. Forgot about the extra egg cost. So I should be fine. Should. Uh, I apologize for that. Uh, now I definitely do want to do... Uh, well, I'm still going to draw first, because like I said, I'm getting that condor. Actually, it helps my uh, score. So it, it is somewhat optimal uh these other ones what did they actually do i didn't even read all right when activated gain food from the feeder uh steal a food from another player supply they oh they gain so uh, that's just getting neither of them help with the current or in the later so we're just gonna draw from the top oh my god the turkey vulture the deck knows it knows what i want it knows and Get to roll all these dice. Oop. One fish. So we do cash a fish on him. All players draw one. This one. Uh, house finch. And now we replace with red shouldered hawk. All right. What are you doing? You're getting a bird. A bird does work for you. Discard the rest. So it has captured the red-breasted grass because it is worth six. It likes those big points ones. So now we have Violet Green Swallow. Cooper's Hawk. I know that one. He always comes up in my games. The Yellow Hammer. Not to be confused with Thor's Hammer. All right, so, oh, and remove a cube. We didn't have a cube on there, so we're good. But I should move my cube over. Ooh, now that I did draw those cards, and I'm really happy with that, I'm going to need eggs to actually play these birds and make sure I don't cheat. So I get three eggs um, for the sake of scoring and stuff. We'll just put them there for now. 
When activated, all players get a cherry. Then roll all the... D oh, doing it this again. Perfect time for this. And there are mice. So it gets a mice to cash on it. I'm doing pretty well with those. I don't usually do pretty well with the predators. That's nice to see. All right. And now what are you doing? You're gaining some eggs. You have a lot of eggs. That is worrisome. And you are placing one on that goal. I'm not going to look ahead to score. I'm just going to try to get as high as I can. Uh, and But now that I can play some birds... Let's see. Where's that vulture? Because I know they're cheap, too. They're both very cheap. Uh, succeeds at that. I don't know if that works in this case, but... I will uh, play my turkey vulture. I'll remove one from my canvas back. Oh, play bird. So between turns, if another player's predator succeeds, gain one. I'm not sure if that's going to work now, but it does match the nest type we need to score right now of the tree nest type. So the final card for Automata. I'm literally going to... Oh, no, we don't remove that yet. Ooh, three eggs, but remove a cube. I'll shuffle that. Now, what I want to do... Yes, I have the eggs left over for it, for my stupid plan. So what I'm going to do is try to max out this lay egg action with another cheap creature, the California condor. I do have two eggs left over to play it. I am remembering. All right, but when he's played, I get to draw two new bonus cards and keep one. So I've got omnivore expert, which is birds that eat. And have a wild symbol. So I've got three there. Or eat for each column that contains birds with three different power colors. Oh, I see what it's, uh, it's saying. Um, hmm. Does white count as a power? You know, white is one, so I've scored one. Uh, the blue could go into either. So I could get two, maybe. I don't know if I can get all three. Yeah, there's no way I'm scoring the bottom one, so that'd be six. That is already six without trying. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go with Omnivore Expert in addition to my uh, Bird Bander. What are you doing? He's gaining a bird. None of them work. So he's getting another Tucked Bird. We're losing all these guys. And he's adding a cube. We are now getting Lincoln Spare. I hope that's uh, from the original set. Yeah. The Bard, not Barn Owl. Very similar. And finally, but not least, Eurasian Collared Dove. Pretty. All right, look at that. Four eggs. We can lay four eggs, which is great because if I want to play any more birds, I'm going to need to do that. So let's get these four eggs activated. So one, two, three, four. Why not? Or actually, no. One to fill him up. Two, three, four. Nothing, nothing. Everyone gets a cherry. How nice. Um, roll the dice. Ah, oh, it's a great thing I'm not going for food right now. Yep, there is a rat, so it catches it. That barn owl, it knows where those rats are. So that was pretty good. And what's happening here? It's trying again for birds. There is a bird. The Eurasian collared dove is fitting its goal, so it will capture that. It will also put another scoring thing there. Ooh, I don't like that. Stop that. Uh, so now we've got. Snow bunting. Um, Franklin's gall. You know, Franklin, the turtle. Corasian nut hatcher. 
Okay. So, do I have any more with those wild symbols or nothing? And, ooh, the Franklin's Gold does. Oh, but that's discarding an... Mm, mm, mm. Uh, but I only have two actions left. Um, and right now I have four versus whatever it's going to have, which is probably high. I'm definitely going to need to do at least one more egg. Can I play a bird that helps out at all? Oh, I want to play. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to. I'm going to trade play a bird. Trade in all four of these because they're not what I want. So two cherries and two wheat for one to be a bug, one to be a fish for my common golden eye. Because the golden eye at the end of the round will lay an egg on this bird for each other bird that has uh, that symbol, which is it also lays in. So that's pretty nice. That will help out a lot. I hope. Let's see. Oh, the food one. Well, there's only one thing, yeah. So it takes it out. They, I'll do one. Do I do when it's empty? I always just assume usually people are picking at it, not when there's... No, that's always the appendix. Silly me. Feeders, the feeders ever empty, yeah. So, all right, let's roll these bad boys in and not actually in the food container. Ooh, well, I hope I want fish. <laughs> I hope I want fish. All right, so we do that. Pink powers. Now, I don't think my pink power makes sense. I do have one where it's when another player succeeds, gains something. Uh, pink powers. Let's see. Autonomous setup. Or it'll say here. Activate all pink powers of cards in player mat. Tomino does nothing. I guess activate as if someone did it. Yeah, that's probably. So gain one. Whenever I'm gaining, I can. If it's all the same, I can choose. So is that count outside your turn? If the dice straight ocean face for, and you're about to gain food for any reason. Yep. So I don't want fish. Now those, I think I do want rats. Those rats seem pretty, pretty good right about now. Yeah, I will take a rat. Thanks to my turkey vulture. Always go vultures. And my last action, I got to lay eggs. I got to hope. I got enough. So we're going to put one on him. One on him. That's three, four. Because four eggs, nothing, nothing. Gain a cherry. Uh, only one die this time. Let's see if you can find that mouse. He could not. I'm sorry, Barn Owl. I have failed you. So that's my last action. What's the bot's last action? Oh, it's just going to take a card. <laughs> it's going to refresh these three. And three new ones. I'm not even going to show you because they're going to get discarded right away. Oh, I guess I could in case you're curious what's in there. All right. But since that was the end of the turn, they're all getting discarded. Actually, I should keep them out, I guess, in case there's something weird. I don't know. I don't think there is. Uh, but morning, Dove. Says, uh, Phoebe, I think it was. And the black-red start. It's got to pick a color, man. Are you the red start or the black start? All right. So now end around power happens. So lay an egg on this bird for each other bird with that symbol. Uh, I think it's it's two. It's two. I'm pretty sure that doesn't include the wild I have here. Score end around goal. So I have this is eggs on those birds. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Please don't tell me. It's got two already, but let's see what its base is. Eggs in that. It's round three. Seven. I am safe to win this one. Ha <laughs> ha. So that should help make up for the last round. Uh, I don't take your cube. You do have a lot of eggs and stuff, though. Oof. That worries me. All right. So now that that is taken care of. Oh, man. I should have, I forgot, looking at the chat, 
Nerds and birds. Oh, I should have named it that. I don't have speed. I'm a I'm a turtle. No, unfortunately, the pterodactyl card uh, was killed off in our recent D and D session. No, my pterodactyl is just fine. I will. I should make some dinosaur ones, except they'll all be broken and no one will like them. And Jonathan is excellent in court. He's played all the Phoenix Wright games, so you better be careful. All right, so let's start the off. This is the final round. We're looking for birds in the plains. I'm doing pretty well so far. And that means these oops can be used to play more birds. Uh, I mean, eggs in the plains. Sorry, not birds in the plains. I have a, a cherry and a rat. I cannot play any of these. These are ones that multiple or wilds. And none of them score for me. Uh, that would help me out. A zero but lays an egg on itself. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to go. Ooh, I should count my turns. I mean, I know I'm going to do one lay egg eventually. Um, the food. What food do I want? I should probably. Yeah, that's what. I... We're going to start with food. You know what? We're going to do it. So for the food I want for my birds. I'm going to, not the cherry. I'm going to take another rat. And no one, definitely don't want the fish. I'm going to get, uh, well, two rats. Yeah. No, we'll take the berry. We're going to take the berry because I already have a rat. All right, nothing. All right, I can tuck a card behind there, and I will do so. Um. I'm sorry, Wobbler. I'm tucking you. But we get an egg there. You know me. I don't have that kind of wit. I'll have that wit like an hour after this stream ends. I'm like George Costanza. I think of my comeback way too late. And that's it for me. So, oh, let's, this was a remove after round three. What do we got? We're, oh, we're in round four, so it's going to get a card. It's got nothing to remove, so that was a simple turn for the for the bot. And I got my food to spend two rats. We'll take two eggs off this one. Yes, this one. Uh, no, you know what? We'll take it off the common golden eye. To play my snowy owl. And I'm going to put him there. So when I play, I get to draw one new bonus card. Then I can either tuck a card or lay an, card, an egg on any bird. Well, first, let's see what the new bonus is. Large birds. Birds that have a wingspan over 65. Oh, oh I am so glad I got that condor. Uh, oh, this is actually looking pretty good for me. I've got quite a number of birds. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm already at the top. I did it. I finished that one. That was great. Good job, Snowy Owl. Uh, oh, and then I can tuck or lay an egg. Well, we'll, we'll definitely lay an egg. I'm going to give it to the California Condor. He's helped. He's a good bird. And let's see what your play a bird. Got to remember to do that. I played a bird. Got to put the cube there. It is going for a bird. There is a bird. Says Phoebe is within the parameters of our bot scoring. So we will get rid of that. And yeah, that's it. We now have the pine siskin. White faced Ebus. And the great tit. Uh, and what, let's take a quick look in the chat. And yes, that is a Power Ranger shirt. It's the um, the third dinosaur team, which I'm totally blanking on. Dino Chargers, the American one. Uh, reuse something for the 
Super Sentai one. I'm totally blanking on it. Every time the sound card goes down, I want to play the... <laughs> yes, but then you got to remember the horrible ending of the Snowy Owl in the last book or movie. Actually, second to last movie because they split up the last book in two. What was the last thing that actually happened? Oh, I added the birds. Yeah, I think that was the last thing I did. I think it should be my turn because I did the Snowy Owl, then we did that. All right. Oh, I mean, I need to lay eggs. I don't have so many actions left. Is there any worth it? To, how many? Okay, the my original goal was to have birds that live in multiple habitats. I want at least six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I, I got that done too. So birds that have a wild symbol. None of them have that. Um, I guess I'm just going to draw. Wait, am I seriously just going to lay a bunch of eggs? I think think that's what I'm going to do and that seems a little boring it's what I'm doing uh, and I will pay a cherry to lay an extra egg so that's five eggs total so one two three four five so nothing 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 gain a cherry roll the dice Come on, barn owl. You know you're hungry. That's a cherry. And those aren't rats. I think I ate them all up, unfortunately. Uh, oh, oops. That is true. If I spoiled you something that is from the last decade, I am so sorry. All right. It's drawing a card, adding it to its pile, and putting a cube there. So... It's it's gonna try to rival me. Um, I think once again, laying eggs, right? Or hmm, because my last action, they're all gonna be full. I mean, that's still getting a lot of eggs for points. Uh, are any of these that is worth a lot of points? Is that worth? I get more points playing that, so. You know what? Oh, no, I only have two, so I won't even lay any eggs then. Yeah, we're laying eggs. This is boring. I'm doing the boring thing. Not, uh, so five. I played the cherry, so I get five eggs. Filling him up. I think that fills up the entire row. Uh, one, two. So that was so one, two, three, four, five. Mmm, magpie. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Get a cherry. Everyone gets a cherry again. All right, let's find those that last annoying rat. There we go. Picking off those rats. Scoring on the card. That's the way to do it, Barn Owl. And what are you doing? Ah, oh, you are taking the rat die out. Oh, pink powers. So once again, another player, are, we're doing So take one. Do I want, do I care? Sure. Why not? Because I don't think I could play anything. Even if I could, that would be worth it. So, yeah. Those get re-rolled. There we go. I'm doing the eggs. I'll pay the cherry. Uh, so for five eggs. Let me actually do the egg thing first. That's six. One, two, uh oh. Three, four, five. I will <laughs> not be able to fit all the eggs at the end. Get a cherry. No dice to roll. No. I did not plan that part out. Well, that was my last thing. So, what are you ending up with? You're going to end up with three eggs and adding another cube. That's a lot of eggs. Hmm. Okay. That is... Now we're into final scoring. So or first we do this. So it's got two eggs in fields. Seven. No, that's round three. 
9. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, whew. Uh, I almost got in trouble for having the condor and vulture there since they don't have a lot of eggs. But uh, I feel pretty good now. So let's get to scoring. Uh, I have two score pads here. I think this is the one I want. All right. Yes, that is me. So birds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It has ten face down. So that's 40 points. It's got 16 if you add up all of its lovely score. End of round goals. That's 4, 9, 12, 16. Ooh, 16 again. Eggs. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oof. It likes 16. 16 is the magic number for this guy. All right. And that ends it up with a total score of carry of 8, carry the 1. Oh, no, not 48. Wow. 88. 88 is my goal. I got to beat that. Let's see how the all right birds. So we're gonna look at my birds. Actually, we know what we're gonna not do it that way. We're gonna sort of go reverse. Uh, eggs first. I have four, eight, ten. Uh, that's six. That's another ten. And that's fifteen. So not bad. One away from it. Next up, uh, food on cards. We have five. That should help make up for some of those cards. And then tucked cards, we have four. So, but that clears up our cards. Now we'll go to the top with birds. So let's add these up. I like to do everything by tens because I'm weird. So that's 10. Um, that's 12. Another pile of 10, so 20, 34, so not it's 40. Bonus cards. Uh, this is where I will do well. For I do have six birds with over 65 centimeter wingspan. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that's giving me six points. Birds that can live in multiple habitats. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And then finally, birds that eat wild. One, or that initial six that I had. So that's six points for that. Uh, six points for that and seven points for that. So that is 19. Very nice. And the end of round goals. That's four, six. 12, 19 again. I think I did it. But, of course, we will add up the points. And mm, I can do math. Uh, 21, 21. You know what? There's my phone. I'm going to type it in because I'm bad at math. Did I say 25? There is no 25. The eggs I counted were 15 eggs. Oh, wait, is it 25? Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's 25. It's a handicap. 10-point handicap. Everyone knows you got to handicap yourself. Um, oh, those eggs. They're going to help me out so much. Uh, calculator. So my final total, assuming I counted everything right, because now I'm in questioning it all, comes out to 106. So I was successful in beating the automaton on normal mode. Uh, so there we go. If I did play the harder mode, uh, I guess I, five over four. 
it would be 10 more points. Ah, I'd still beat it if I did it on the harder points when they're worth five. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm counting chickens before they hatch. So that was Wingspan Solo with the European expansion. Yeah, as you can see, it adds a few new cards. I do like the uh, Automa exclusive goals. I think that makes sense that they should have their own goals to help them out and to help them be a bit more streamlined. And those end of turn cards are definitely very interesting too, which I actually think I missed triggered on the last. No, I didn't because it was already full of eggs. So it couldn't do anything about that. Uh, I will not slap myself because I'd break this mic. Uh, I'm already afraid of the durability of it. So let me know how, what else I got wrong or misplays I've made. I'm sure I've made many. I'm definitely tend to forget things sometimes. But thank you again for watching. Uh, we'll try to do more of these solos or even some regular plays. Uh, keep an eye out. And, of course, some RPG stuff usually on the weekends because that's when we can get players. But until then, I'm Will, and this has been a Roll for Crit.